Hi everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joint, hashtag extended joint, where every day is payday baby, you're tuned in to another video. Alright, so as you can see, we have some player of the year nominees, and I got the girl Mia official on here, because we want to continue to give her good energy, being she was the golden boot winner for uh, the Mexican League this year, and uh, she's still a rookie, in a way, kind of, kind of still a rookie. <clears throat> but yeah, I wanted to give her props, and I do think she deserves to be involved with the USA's next up-and-coming friendly matches. I don't know what the woman has to do to get a shoe in. She's only 21. I think Sophia, maybe around the same age. And also Trinity Raman, maybe a little bit younger. And then we have a new addition like Gurma. You know, these players <clears throat> that are playing in the WSL, but... You know, young players, still we haven't really seen them just yet. I mean, we've seen them with USA, uh, you know, young players. And I think Mia should be a another fabulous addition to the team. And I do think she's being snubbed based upon her not playing in NWSL. And honestly, if I don't blame her. Um, I just realized she's a Taurus, she's a Taurus sun sign like Rose Lavelle and Mal Pugh, so I think she's fitting in this section. Uh, but, you know, the fact that she's already scored, she scored double digits this year uh, for her team is phenomenal. And I do believe that she she's the best USA striker that's not playing in the BSL, or she could be the best in the BSL. She could be the best striker that USA have that's not playing or not even a part of the USA team. So I'm saying that right now, right now, before it, you know what I'm saying? I do think, if, if you don't watch Tigres, I mean, I, it just depends on how many people even tune into the Mexican League. I mean, I feel like uh, I do, um, and I think it's very important, uh, especially if we have young talent, American talent, whatever talent, football talent, I mean, there's talent all over the world. That's why, you know, we should tune into lots of leagues to see what type of players that they're developing. Um, and I think, of course, I've been tuned into the Mexican League for about, it's going to be my upcoming third year. Uh, and um, with now the Canadian uh, manager, we could see a lot more. I don't know, we could see a lot more players from America come to their neighbors, Mexico. Because Canada doesn't have a league. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, it only makes sense. And to be honest, when, where were Orlando Pride in the rankings this season? You know, they did lose some... I think even, they even lost a manager, for fuck's sake. And Orlando had been, uh, you know, a lot of uh, scrutiny, right? A lot of scrutiny. Even though they were an expansion team, you know, Alex Morgan was a part of that expansion team. Left them high and dry, went to another expansion team, and San Diego Wave. So I'm just saying, look. Look, someone has a pattern. <laughs> well, yeah, shout out to Mia. Um, she's getting her flowers while she's alive. I do think she needs to be involved, like I said, with the USA national team in these upcoming uh, camps. And um, if they don't, I mean, I think she's get. This is the retaliation of the shadow government being mad that she didn't come and submit to Orlando. And I think uh, we just have to see that as it is and don't try to put blinders over it because at the end of the day what excuse are they going to make if she scores more goals next season well she's not you still have rookies that we have never seen or we have a rookie of the year and um, we have some other young players but they play it in the bcl and they're getting opportunities uh for the usa team but they still haven't proved themselves in that way you know what i'm saying or maybe they have but so has mia so she needs to be uh a part of these uh you know being rewarded for her success, just not in and of itself in another league. And uh, so when it comes to the, the female players of the year nominee, I'm already out and out saying either Rose Lavelle, but Rose hasn't really showed up for me that much. So I'm giving it to Mal Pugh. Mal Pugh is one of my favorite players to watch on the football field uh, in general. She's before in a way, she's, she's like, it's Alex and then Lindsay, I think, and then Lorel, and then Mal, and then Sophia. So, um, me personally, I pick Mal Pew. Uh, I like the girl. She's a great player, you know. And I think everyone else that's nominated, you know, had great seasons. 
Uh, but in my opinion, Mal uh, stands out the most. I think she's very, when you look at the team she plays for, I think um, she has to do a lot. When I look at Lindsay Huron's team, she plays for Leon. When I look at Rose Lavelle's team, she plays for Baby Leon, a.k.a. Oh, oh, rain. Uh, Alex Morgan played for the uh, additional, the expansion team. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and Sophia Smith plays for Portland Thorns. So when I look at all the teams that these players played for, Mal Pugh stands out the most. She's been with the team the longest. I think um, Rose has been with her the team for, I think she just came back. But anyways, Mal's my, my getting my vote esoterically because I'm not casting the votes uh Literally. Uh, but yeah, Mal gets my vote based upon, uh, I think she's a great player. I think she is one of the best. She's a very imp important player, and we need to keep her healthy for the USA team. And I think Sophia, she's still young. I feel like she had a great season, but she does play with a lot of great players. Alex Morgan is, in a way, kind of like, I'm not saying old news, but like, yeah, she came back from pregnancy. I ain't never seen so many people do that, but like, it's Alex Morgan. It's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, what do you want to say? Like, yeah, she scored lots of goals. That's great, but, you know, I'm just, I'm not, I'm just, I didn't really like San Diego Wave. Honestly, I didn't really like, I didn't even like the way they played. Like, I wasn't, like, hyped like them. I chose, my two, out of my two LA teams, I chose Kristen Press over Alex Morgan. I just, that's just who, that's just how I was. So, maybe I have some bias towards Alex, but shout out to her cancer ass. But it is what it is. And Roosevelt, she didn't, when I watched O.L. Reign versus, uh, in the semifinals, they were trash. And she, she wasn't available. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, come, like, and she's a great player. We, we, I need the Rose Lavelle that, you know, scam, scored the game winner during the Netherlands match. That Rose Lavelle needs to come out. And, you know, the shadow government, you know what I'm saying? They be, I'm not, they be making these players play flunked. And, you know, you see it. And I'm just like, no, I'm, nah, I don't. It wasn't Rose's, Matt, it wasn't Rose's season. You know, we also need the Rose Lavelle that was playing in Man City with Sam Mewis. We need that Rose Lavelle, okay? Even though she didn't get a lot of playing time because Taylor's flunked. But anyways... And then Lizzie Ron, like I said, fam, she left Portland to go to Lyon. So it's just like, you're playing around great players. So, uh, and, you, know, you know, shout out to the Gemini of Haran. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You know what I mean? And so it's tough, uh, especially, I don't, honestly, I don't think Portland needs any more attention. So we just need to stay away from Portland in general. So it kind of does X out former Portland players and uh former portland players meaning uh, alex morgan lindsey heron and sophia and we need to look at some other players like roosevelt and now Pugh, players that are not affiliated too much with controversy even though uh, chicago is filled with controversy but anyways that's just my uh opinion on the uh player of the year nominees some thoughts and feelings from your girl and also let's get that girl me official into the usa team because i do think when you look at okay who are our strikers because i mean black will be flunked out he be trying to play players you know alex morgan okay she's a striker ashley hatch she's a striker mal pew sophia smith these are our wide players okay they're wide players mia is a striker so get her in here because she's in a way if you know if ashley hatch doesn't really stay Hopefully, hopefully she stays healthy. I think she will. But a lot of players, but Alex Morgan, if he, if I, I don't even know. I think she's gonna. There are certain players that's like you just know they're gonna make the USA team, World Cup team, because you know why? They're the popular ones. They're the ones. <laughs> they're the ones that have a lot of attention from the media, and um, you know they they pack a lot of revenue when their face their face gets shown on TV. Teams people make money. You know you know what I'm saying? They make money. So players like Alex and a lot of these players, they when they get their face shown, they make money for the the, the t people that are associated with them. Um, the contracts, the big guys, you know what I'm saying? And also, I want to say the USA members, they got a big payday. I was looking, I was reading some articles about um, them getting that cash because uh, they got the, you know, the equal pay with the gentlemen now. And they're making more than um, the World Cups that they did. So, I mean... Congratulations, ladies. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you know, y'all do something good with that money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, it is what it is. I guess a well 
hard fought victory won. But yeah, we need to see the younger players. If he is giving younger players fucking World Cup call ups, we had uh we had a young college player, uh Thompson, that went to England and got her debut. But where that girl me official at? Make it make it make sense, but I think all it is is the shadow government. Like I say, they they didn't like the the fact that Mia did something different, and and hopefully in in another way she's gonna be she's already gonna be rewarded in different ways, and and luckily it, it could be the shadow government. Um, it could be in a way her spirit taking her in a different direction. Uh, so in a way she may not have to deal with a lot of the um you know a lot of the the behind the scenes games that all rain might have played with her you know what i'm saying but she's a champion she's golden boot winner 17 goals more than anyone on the left side here or on your right side depending on how you're looking at it more than goals more goals than either anybody on this side so i mean hands down has to be a part of the usa team to help maybe i think but uh anyways Y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, does Mia Official deserve a call-up based upon, you know, one, her, her goals, and based upon Black Co calling up these younger players that actually haven't done as much success as she's had for her team? And who is your female player of the year? My player of the year is Mal Pugh. Uh, so let me know your, uh, let me know yours in the comment section. Once again, thank y'all for tuning in to Anita's joint. Hashtag is in the joint where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl, Anita, flying high. Flying out of this third dimensional reality. I'm going to see you on the next one. This is.